birthday. And my friend told me, you know, she throw that football bottle at, at um, his, her daddy. And, um, mm, <laughs> 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 yeah, we, had some, we, had some, we had some funny times back then. Then, 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 I remember oh, last time, you remember we had cheese day? Remember? Um, I can't believe she ate all those strawberries. And, um, she, she ate, like, the whole strawberries. I'm looking at her eating this pizza. She's eating good for real teeth, for her teeth. Yeah, she is. Yeah, I love her. And, um. And I love her, and we still got that, and that's it. All right, that's good. Yay. Friend, his name was Brother Wilbur, and we had went out town to Danville, Kentucky. And so she had one of her friends, both been her, one of her good friends, had went to the church. She knew my mother was going to be out of town, and she was jealous that my mother had this friend. And so she went to the church and was talking about my mom and talking about him and I guess talking about me, and I was a little girl then. I might have been about nine or ten, and just just talking about us. So we was going to church at that time every day. Every time the door opened, we was at church. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we went to church the next day, which was Monday night, and I think Monday night was young people's night. And so anyway, somebody told mom all what this woman said and this and that, and mom said, "I'm gonna pull out her false teeth." And I'm going to pull out, <laughs> I'm going to get a hole, and I'm going to pull out her, you know, fake breasts. And she said, I'm going to get her. And I remember, <laughs> I remember, I was like, oh, God, and I was praying. I was like, my Lord, please don't let Bob get this woman. Please don't let her get her. My mom said, I'm going to get her on Sunday. And I said, oh, God, please don't let Bob do that. Please. When Sunday came, me and Mama walked up there to that lady's church. <laughs> and I was standing outside, and I was praying, and I was crying, and it was cold. And I was praying and crying like, God, please let my mother come out of there. Please let my mother come on out. Please, please. Because she wouldn't let me come to church. I had to stand outside the door. And the, the lady's church was up the street, but it was still on the same street we lived on. And I was like, Lord, please let mom come out. Please, please, God. So, mom, I don't know what happened. But I remember we came. Mom said, come on. And she was mad. So she did whatever she did. I didn't see what she did. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear what she said. But she said, come on. And so we started walking. Mm -hmm. And then somebody said, don't come back. And Bob said, I won't come back. You ain't have to work about me coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember that. I was like, Lord, I was praying. Like, Lord, please let us get out of this church. Don't let them take my father to jail. <laughs> and I remember another time. My mother, my Uncle Raymond, got into it, and I ran, and I was scared. I ran in the bathroom and locked the door, and they had got into it about my grandmother. My Uncle Raymond was about six feet tall, and my mother's only about five four. My mom, I don't know where she got that strength, but she picked my Uncle Raymond up by the collar and carried him outside the apartment and set him on the step. And I was scared. I ran. I was running. I was at the bathroom door like praying like, oh, God. Because <laughs> I wasn't going to get in the middle of that mess. And they was, I, I don't know how she got the strip, but she she set them out there. I remember my grandmother, she went on. Mm -hmm. And she went with my uncle because that was her favorite. Mm -hmm. But um, I remember that. So I have a lot. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't see, because he was tall. Mm -hmm. He was six feet, and she picked him up. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he used to be a boxer mm -hmm. back in the day. And I mean, mm -hmm. and so then, muscular. yeah, muscular mm -hmm. man. Even when he died, he was muscular. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. 
she picked him up and she set him outside that door. And so I was like, oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. So I remember mom always being a fighter. But she would fight the devil. She would fight in prayer. She would fight in spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. She would fight in all the good ways. Mm -hmm. But she still had some of that where she could fight in the natural too. <laughs> I remember when she came out here to the nursing home, and I had said something, and she didn't like what I said. And she said, she told me, she said, you better stop, I'm going to whoop you. And I said, well, you had to catch me, Bob, and you can't catch me anymore. So I said, I'm not going to work about it. <laughs> and she started laughing, because she knew she couldn't catch me. Mm -hmm. But back in the day, she could catch me. Mm -hmm. But she couldn't catch me now, so she couldn't whip me. So that, that's, that's one of my fondest memories of her. And I think the biggest memory that I have of her is when that time when mom was not responsive. And she was in the hospital, and they was like, they had called me at the nursing home. They said, well, she was not responsive, and she's at Mount Carmel uh, East. And I remember I called Maurice. I said, well, we got to go out there. I said, my mom, this and that. So he, he came and got me, and we came out there. And so I said, well, she responding, whatever. And they was like, no, she's not responding, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, I looked at her. I said, Bob, you can't die. I said, I don't have your insurance paid up. <laughs> I don't have anybody to bury you, and you got a bill. So you can't die, die. My mother's eyes opened up. <laughs> They were laughing when I was saying that, but they see her eyes opened up mm -hmm. and she started coming to herself. I said, Mom, you can't die. Mm -hmm. I said, Because I have no way to bury you. Mm -hmm. You got to live, Mom. Mm -hmm. Live. Mm -hmm. I said, Live in Jesus' name. Mom started getting up. She started <laughs> talking. She started laughing. And I think she was in the hospital maybe about three or four days and they let her go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then another time they said she was non responsive. I said, there's bills, Mom. I don't have it together. Yeah, I don't have it together. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, you know, she came and she's like, well, God's got it. She said something. I said, God ain't got those bills. I said, I don't want to got them. I said, you better try to hold on a little while longer. <laughs> I think about why why need to buy them. She said on one of her tapes, she said, when it's her time to go, she said they're gonna tell her her kin people gonna say, Go revive her. Cause she said she'll have everything in order. I said, Well that ain't my testimony. <laughs> Cause when the bills ain't paid and this and that ain't paid, you do it everything you can to revive her. <laughs> that but Bob you've been a blessing in my life mother you've been a blessing in my life I thank God I wouldn't trade you for a million dollars and if I had to do it all over again and if I had to choose who my mother was I would still choose you because you've been a blessing to me and a hundred thousand dollars and wonderful. now mm -hmm. we're going to get the birthday cake and she and taught you how to be an intercessor through her episodes, huh? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but she prayed all the time. Mom prayed 12 o'clock noon prayer. Mm -hmm. And when I wasn't at school, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. I remember one time I called myself going to try to be tough. And I had a friend where my friends had spent the night. And I wasn't going to pray. And Mom got up from that prayer. She started beating me in the head. She started grabbing me by my collar and yanking me up and back and forth and beat me in the head and hit me. And when my friends seen her, Mom, you know, whooping me, when it was her time, she was like, Our Father, which you already <laughs> She was praying. <laughs> I said, oh, I said, that's what I get for trying to be proud. Like I was running something. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> I tell you. They don't make them like her anymore. No, they don't. They don't make them like her anymore. She get them together. 
Well, mommy, is that the end? Well, here. Did you cut the thing off and start it back? Still one.